Hello? 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 Wait, Wait, hold up. I'm trying to figure out technology right now. Oh, here we go. We're good now. What's up? Hey, Adam. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> good. So we're doing a special episode on takeout food. This is not gonna be like a regular episode of Worth It because as you can see, Steven and Adam are not here in the car with me. We are observing all current requirements for social distancing. And we encourage all of you to do the same. Stay home, stay safe. So I'm gonna be picking up the food today and dropping it off to Steven and Adam. So today on Worth It, we're gonna be trying three different takeout menus at three price points to find out how they are all worth it at their given price point. These are all restaurants and chefs that we've worked with before. They're doing some amazing takeout food. I love it, I've missed Worth It. I've been waiting for this moment. You know, we haven't been able to eat at restaurants, but at the very least, we can take the restaurants to us. So for our first stop today, we're gonna to be visiting the Kogi Truck, an LA mm. institution. The Kogi Truck is not a business that we've filmed with before, but we did film with Roy Choi, the chef owner, who was in our brunch episode a few seasons back at the nice. place A-Frame. We're going to the Kogi truck to have their world famous short rib taco. So the Kogi short rib taco is Roy Choi's iconic taco. He's taken Korean flavors and put them into the taco. So it's got short rib, I believe a pickled onion relish, this red salsa that they make themselves, and this cabbage slaw. So imagine kind of like the taste of Korean barbecue but in the format of a street taco. I mean, I've had it a million times. It's amazing. It, it's an all-time great one. Hey, Worth It family. I just want to say thank you for supporting us and highlighting Kogi during these tough times. Man, it's hard out here serving this food and trying to stay alive, but uh, doing it with you guys makes it worth it. That was stupid, sorry. Thank you all, bye. By the way, I'm on autofocus here, Adam, Ooh. and it's always been good to me. I think the weirdest part about the way that we're filming this is that we frame the cameras in a way yeah. <laughs> where your empty body is next to me. Yeah, I even, this is not where my dining table usually is, and I decided to include the empty seat next to me as a, oh, as a symbolic I didn't even act. Do that. Sorry, I didn't even do the courtesy pair. You can have that chair. <laughs> And we got Adam on the line, directing us as always, but now he's right there on screen, which is a comforting sight. Do we do his dig in? Let's dig in. Adam's got the kimchi quesadilla. You wanna show that off? Ooh. Adam, that looks very good. nice saucing job. Also, where'd you get that plate? How should we cheers? Do cheers I just Steven. cheers the... I'm gonna cheers, no, cheers your half of the screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Three, three two, one. Boom. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Adam can eat wow. at the same time as us now. Yeah, I don't have to hold the camera. I like this version of the show better. This that is... was <sighs> incredible. That was like a perfect bite. I feel like I haven't eaten before. <laughs> it's been four weeks of quarantine. My whole head is tingling. I have like chills after taking that bite. Mmm. Oh my God. Is that the vinaigrette that really just rises to the top there? I like that. Mm hmm You know, it just occurred to me that I don't know that if I'm in focus at all. <laughs> <laughs> Autofocus, baby. Remember two minutes ago when I was like, Adam, your job is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the technical failures, I'm actually getting more emotional than I anticipated. Like the feeling of eating a restaurant food with your pals, even if it's over video chat. Like, yeah. you know, we've, we've done like, what, like six plus seasons of Worth It together. It's definitely hitting me right now that like we- For sure. Took for granted all the times that we got to eat all these delicious foods and meet these people, amazing people. I'm very grateful. Yeah. You know what's great about this? You could instantly go take a nap. There's like no travel time. <laughs> you just get up, go over to the couch, lights out. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Steven. All right, day two. What are we doing today? Our next two locations, we're gonna have both of their foods 
uh, one after another. It's gonna be kind of like virtual dinner party. So we're gonna have a little pre-dinner drinks and cheese, and then we're gonna get this family set from Spoon by H, who you'll remember from our Korean soup episode. Steven, are you Steven, are you drinking an iced latte? <laughs> you heard the ice? Yeah, I heard the ice. <laughs> wow, some, some things will never change about making this I, show. Is it matcha latte? <laughs> of course it is, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next place we're picking up food from is Ototo, which is offering a sake tasting set right now. So you'll remember Courtney and Charles from our sushi and burger episode. Ototo is this sake bar that also makes a lot of delicious savory food. They're doing a fried chicken dinner right now. And they're also doing this virtual sake school where you go and pick up a set of sake and then on the weekend they do a live stream where you could learn about what you're drinking. And right now they're doing a sake and cheese pairing. So that's what we're gonna have as our happy hour before our dinner today. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear this information I know. from you, Andrew. <laughs> I, I know that you love sake. And cheese is a guilty pleasure for me, only because I can't really handle dairy very well, but I'm at home. I can uh, use the bathroom whenever I want. And so, no problemo. Hey guys, welcome to the dinner party. Thank you, there's nobody here to tell me if my collar's messed up or. I'm wearing shorts right now with this jacket. I don't know if that's uh, dinner appropriate, but yeah. There's a little oh no. Leg. Does everybody have their worksheet? <laughs> You got yes. two sakes and two cheeses. Um, wait, let me get just in like in the zone and the mood real quick. I'm just gonna like imagine Ototo in my head. Okay. I'm at the bar. You have the cat coaster that's underneath here. There's great chopsticks. Oh, great chopsticks. And there's, there's the shelf of sake over there. Okay, I'm good. In the zone. For sake today, we're gonna taste a sake called kuru ushi. The kuru ushi translates to black bull or black cow with a cheese called Briat Savara, a triple cream French cow's milk cheese with a bloomy rind. The goal with a successful pairing is for both to taste better. The sake hopefully tastes good on its own, the cheese tastes good on its own, then you put them together and they both taste better. So I don't know if this is super common knowledge, but sake comes in these little pop top glass jars, which I think is just fantastic. I actually have a fun show and tell to go with this. So. When we went to Japan, remember we went to Nikko? Yeah. So we went to this grocery store where, what did we buy there? We bought the bento. Yeah, the bento. Historic trains were a big part of Nikko. So I actually bought a jar of sake at the time that has this oh, wow. old timey train on it. Oh, that's cool. And I've used this as like my at home wine glass ever since. Oh, it, Adam's it got one too. Like, what? Oh, interesting. Oh. Ooh. Oh. They should change their name to Ooh, Toto. <laughs> I'll see myself out of my own apartment. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, very smooth. Ooh. All right, let's unpack this cheese. Ooh, it's extremely moist. Whoa. Oh. It looks like a half-eaten ice cream sandwich. Ooh. Oh. And now the sake. Oh. Okay. Ooh. The sake definitely helps uh, with the funk. The one thing about this cheese that is so unique is how creamy it is. It's like almost yeah. custardy. That was good. That, that opened my mind up. Okay, so moving on to sake and cheese number two. The next sake we have is a brewery called Amabuki. This one, the Himawari, uses sunflower yeast. For me, it's less floral, it's more sort of nutty, like almost a sunflower seed. And it's a nama, so unpasteurized. It keeps a little bit more brightness in the sake. It also kind of turns the aromatics up when you pasteurize sake. It mellows things out, it rounds it, but it can sort of soften it. We're gonna pair that with a cheese called Veragot, which is a goat's milk cheese from New Jersey. It is a natural rind, and it is cave aged. Whoa, it looks like a steak straight up opposite of the other cheese. It almost looks like the crust of bread kind of rind. So we're going from a creamy cheese with a creamy sake to a nutty sake with a funky cheese. Two. Okay. Okay, this well, one smells like still water. I think I have so much cheese in my mustache that I can't smell anything other than that. You want to do sake cheese? Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. I like it. Yeah, I love that one. That's the cheese I like. It's grainy and it's uh, funky, man. It's grainy and funky. Once again, you put them together and it absolutely yeah. sings. I really like the rind. It adds a nice bitter taste that rounds out the cheese. It's like a good ending. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Your shirt matches the cross stitch behind you. That's a second sake observation. 
So next we'll be having Spoon by H. And Spoon by H is a Korean dessert cafe that also does amazing savory food. It's an ever-changing menu. There's different stuff that you can get during the week. Like right now they have an amazing lunch box that's called a doserak. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Yoon has come up with this amazing family pack of entrees, desserts, and appetizers that we're gonna be enjoying next. It's available currently on weekends. And so we're gonna do a sampling of each of the things offered this week mm. and probably pack away and save much of this to eat over the course of the coming week. Cause this is a lot Great. of food. Hello, worth it. Thanks for stopping by. You guys are trying our family pack, which is a changing menu of some of our favorite dishes. So this is what's on the menu this week. Macaroni salad, kimchi cold pasta salad, honey garlic toast, vegetarian curry, braised chicken legs and radish, Ooh. peanut noodles, kimchi fried rice, beef short rib rice cake soup, vegetarian miso ramen soup, maple honey walnut muffin, and iced tea. You got your iced tea? Cheers. Cheers. Let's go mac salad first. Macaroni salad. Oh, using your uh, hanbap bowl? I am. Hanbap bowl, nice. Hanbap bowl. I'm using a bowl that I use to feed cats. <laughs> what? Mmm. Ooh. It's Ooh. crab in here? Yeah, this is, what the heck? So it's actually crab mm. macaroni salad. Oh, the spam in here too. I like how it's mm, right. undersold as just macaroni salad, but it's really like 50% crab. <laughs> Next dish we got kimchi cold pasta salad. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting this pasta shape. What is this, penne? Wow. Oh, ho, ho. Man, kimchi loves to party with vehicles. Explain yourself, sir. Kimchi just wants a vehicle, like pasta, vehicle for the kimchi. Kimchi quesadilla, Adam had at Kogi. It wants carbs and fats to ride on, because it's a powerful flavor. Next up, we have the honey garlic toast. Yeah. It's this thick, thick slice of what seems to be brioche. Looks cartoony. It really does. A toast to the toast. Toast. I'm gonna go this way on my camera. I don't know who, I don't know to toast it, Adam. Toast. <laughs> yeah. What is this? This is cake. This is like if there was a garlic bread jelly bean. Yes. Because it tastes slightly sweet, but it uh -huh. is a garlic bread. I would not expect honey to belong on a garlic bread. It's very delicious. Now to mm. what I've been looking forward to the most actually, vegetarian curry. I love curry. Okay, this egg is beautiful. It is a beautiful curry. I think I think Eunice is trying to like, outdo all the episodes we've ever done before. Yeah, she's like, toast, got it, garlic bread. <laughs> salad, boom. Macaroni salad plus crab. Mm. Oh yeah. Next up we got braised chicken leg. I'm gonna pick up a chicken leg. Mmm. What? You know, I can already, I, I, I get it. I get it, Yoon. I feel like what she tries to do with these meals is like, you think you know what you're gonna get. Like you're like, yeah. oh, chicken and radish. But no, it's like, how can I make this dish as different as what you expect it to be as possible? Next up, peanut noodles. Reminds me of a dandan dan mian. Wow, such a meaty peanut noodle. That's good, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's that peanut plus meat flavor. Because mm. usually you think peanut butter jelly, peanut plus sweet. Here they go peanut plus meat. Okay, kimchi fried rice. Uh, can I change my pants? <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Steven? I'm just getting too full. You can change your pants, but this is going in the episode if you do. We got the kimchi fried rice. It's really almost like risotto more than fried rice. Okay, so to cap it off, we have the miso ramen and then we have the short rib soup. I say we freeze and save that one for later and we eat the miso ramen for now. That's a good plan. It looks like there's uh, instructions here to cook the noodles and then stick them in when we're ready. Great dish to round out the meal with. How'd your ramen come out? Oh, it came out really good. Yeah, it looks great. Final dish. Mmm. Oh man. That's, Ooh, yeah. spicy too. I'm gonna compliment myself on the al dente pasta. Thank you, Steven. This is finishing the meal on a strong punch. The noodles are very good. Yeah. They're very chewy. And this broth, probably the most flavorful thing we've eaten yet. This is what I like to call dessert noodles. Oh, we have a muffin. A maple honey walnut muffin. Mmm, that is a moist muffin. Oh, wow. Adam's face right now. Well, that does it, boys. That's the end of our Worth It takeout adventure. We're not gonna be picking a Worth It winner today because we think all these restaurants are really worth it, like we always do. 
And really, we just want to encourage people to support their local businesses that they really love. Like, we really love these three places. Right now, especially, uh, you can order pickup or delivery. All of them are still open. Have a virtual dinner party. The shape of this noodle does a really good job of grabbing all of the flavor. Kind of like cat's tongue. I don't know if you're familiar with the anatomy of a cat's tongue. I'm very familiar. It's texture to brush the fur of the cat. Little ridges, much like this noodle, to pick up this stuff. 